Look, people, here's the problem with conspiracy theories. What if they're not conspiracies? And what if they're not theories? What do you call them? Fact? Truth? How do you know when something goes from being a conspiracy theory to a conspiracy wall? Or a conspiracy... something? When do we know when a conspiracy goes from theory to truth? That's, that's the real problem. There's no, there's no indicator. We don't have a system in place for that transition to happen. And we need it. We desperately need it. So we need a scale for conspiracy theories that works for us, right? Like right now, it's just either truth or conspiracy, but it removes all the nuance in between. So we need a, a, like a, like a 10 point scale that goes from most extreme egregious lies to hard, irrefutable fact. That way we don't lump everyone together into this, you know, conglomerate, this mass of just, well, they're all conspiracy theorists. This is a democracy, right? I'm gonna guess most of you also live in democracies like I do. So, we can vote on this somewhere. Let me let you guys in on something that makes sense to me that no one in the news is talking about. All the chicken wing places are closed. I can't get chicken wings. Now, I live in England, so it's already hard finding chicken wings. But now it's extra hard because they're all closed. So I think there's a big conspiracy from the beef market to try to shut down the chicken wing market. Or maybe it's a, it's a rivalry with the, with the chicken breast or the chicken drumstick. It's a war that's been going on way too long. But the aliens want to control us and experiment on us, and so they're changing everything. I don't know what planet they're from, but my guess is Venus. Because the air is made out of poison to us. So we can't go there and fighting back against their plan. Problem is, I start talking about like this, everyone just immediately lumps it into the craziest conspiracy theories. I think we've, we've gotten to a point where we, we, we tend to be very distrustful of people who oppose the authority that we, that we, live, that we support. So when someone comes up to you and they have a conspiracy theory, whether it's mild, or extreme, I think it's really important that we allow that person to speak and consider what they have to say. It's a two-way street. If we want people to trust us, we have to be willing to trust them. And if we are constantly talking about how terrible or stupid other people are because they don't share our beliefs, or because they oppose people that we believe should be in leadership. We are less likely to be listened to by our opponents. So, that's some food for thought for today. And things are just too much. Too much.